I just wanted to die it felt I had really bad heart palpitations as well it felt like someone was just pounding something on my back like I could feel my heart in my back vitamin D deficiency it affects a billion people worldwide and that's why you're here so let's not waste too much time let's get right into it if you're new i'd like you to subscribe and like the video we have more of these coming i want you to grab a drink what we're having is one of these electrolyte powders back here we'll talk more about it coming up soon and also we got a lot to unpack so we got to get into it you want to get better right i got you i got you i've been there i know what it's like to be vitamin d deficient oh yeah the hospital visits I got you stay tuned in this video I'll explain my story and some common questions that persons may have all right so before we begin make sure you have a drink it could be any drink really this one has something that you will need in your journey to get better we'll talk about it later I promise but yeah get yourself a drink maybe some water let's talk I found so, out that I was vitamin D deficient just started feeling very weak and everything just became extremely difficult so i was like this is not normal and after countless doctor visits i actually was the one that found out that i'm vitamin d deficient because i did some research and none of the doctors knew what was wrong with me everything was all of the symptoms relating to vitamin d they could lead you down a, a, a rabbit hole of different stuff because they are so random and I've seen and heard of persons that had just a vitamin D deficiency and they ended up down the road of colonoscopies and all these different stuff listen it can get really scary and really expensive so if you found this video and you're having symptoms I'm about to explain please just go and get a vitamin d test we're all deficient by the way so it might come back low so these are some of the symptoms that i had and it's a lot so <laughs> listen up so i was so tired it doesn't matter how much sleep i got i was just extremely tired like i got up from an eight nine hour sleep and i'm like tired i eat breakfast and i'm still tired it's crazy i know i couldn't get nothing done literally nothing done my anxiety which i don't uh sorry i didn't had anxiety before this and then i just realized i started getting ang anxious about everything and then i would like if i walk into a room it got so bad to the point if i walk into a room with uh a lot of people in it i'll just begin to shake and i'll have to walk back out the room anxiety i don't have it anymore but that is insane like that wasn't a good time in my life honestly brain fog it felt like i was losing brain cells every day like i couldn't even formulate proper sentences and then if i do start like certain sentences then what happens is that i would lose my train of thought halfway through and then i'm like what, what was i even talking about and listen it gets really bad it gets it's like you're getting dumb but you're not trust me you just have a vitamin d deficiency and it's it's unfortunate but there is hope there is hope you just got to continue watching this video i'm gonna put you on game trust me i got you i was constipated really badly here falling out really dry eyes like i had a water bottle and i used to just spritz my eyes with this water bottle <laughs> i do i didn't know what to do like everything was going wrong every single thing was going wrong and my hair was falling out i even caught a uti which i never had listen if i my heart goes out to the people that have vitamin d deficiency because this thing is like the end of the world basically i just wanted to die it felt i had really bad heart palpitations as well it felt like someone was just pounding something on my back like i could feel my heart in my back like just pounding and the funny thing is when i went to the hospital they said hey your heart is good i'm like no my heart is literally bouncing out my chest like look and you could see it like the the, the chest was going like 
I'm not even kidding you. I couldn't sleep. Like, I went nights without sleeping. And you know, when I started, before all this escalated into, like, where it is, I first started getting up at 2 p.m. Like, every night at 2 p.m. I would check the my phone when I get up, and it's 2 p.m., it's 2 p.m., it's 2 p.m. Like, if it's not exactly 2, it's like 3 past 2, 4, 5, 6 past 2 in the morning. And I'm like, why am I getting up at 2 p.m. every night? Just like clockwork. Like, this is insane. And then after a certain time had passed, then I would stop sleeping altogether. I, it became very difficult to sleep. And lastly, the bone pain. The bone pain I had, listen, my back was killing me. My back. That's the classic number one symptom of a vitamin D deficiency, back pain. Listen, I couldn't sit down like the bones in my bottom. <laughs> I couldn't sit down without the use of a pillow. Like my bones were literally hurting, like almost every bone in my body was hurting. It's insane. Hey, you guys grab the drink yet? What are we doing? Like, like, let's have a sip, you feel me? Yes, sir. All right, so if you're still with me, let's get into some questions that you guys have. You guys have a lot of questions. I've been all over the internet. I've seen the questions. So let's unpack a few. Really, it's not a few. I found every single question that persons had or were unclear about. Um, and even questions that persons haven't even answered on the internet. I got you. I got you. You can just call me the vitamin D guy from today. <laughs> like, seriously, I dug deep. This thing, I refuse to lose my life to vitamin D. A vitamin D deficiency. Uh-uh. I'm not going out that way. Okay, so the number one question is, how do I know if I'm low in vitamin D? Good question. Well, you can first, if you have any of the symptoms that I explained above, but you still have to get tested to confirm that you do have low vitamin D. Um, you can go to your doctor. When you go to your doctor, you ask for the test of the 25 hydroxy and there's two tests. And the, the one 25 dihydroxy, get the two tests. I'll link a video below explaining um, of another creator explaining the two tests and how to understand um, and interpret those. So just look in the description for that. Next question is when and how to take your supplements. So we're going to get into what supplements to take, but as for the vitamin D, you would have to take that with a fatty meal and take it with your first meal of the day. So whenever you have that first meal, you take your vitamin D that will help with the absorption of the vitamin D. All right, guys, so this is where we're going to get into the technical stuff, right? Remember, stay hydrated, guys. Stay hydrated. Yes, sir. So what supplements to take and how much and why? This is the part we got to unpack. A lot of persons have a lot of questions and this is the part you can go wrong with. You got to listen to me carefully. Are you listening? Like, are you really listening? You got to listen. We play this part if you don't get it. Until you do get it. You got me? Good. Okay. So, first thing you'll need is a good quality multivitamin. You'll need a natural multivitamin. That will have the best chance of being absorbed by your body. A good rule of thumb is um, turn to the back of your multivitamin when you go to the store or online and just look for vitamin B12. If it's in the form of cyanocobalamin, put it back. That is not a natural multivitamin. If it says methylcobalamin, then you pick it up. That is a good multivitamin. That's natural. That's what your body recognizes. All right. So... And you need a good multivitamin for two reasons. One, because if you're deficient in vitamin D, you're also deficient in other stuff. Most likely you are. And two, taking vitamin D could deplete, uh, sorry, taking vitamin D only could
could deplete some of the other vitamins that you have in your body. So you need to have a balanced slate inside your body. So when it comes to the vitamin D that you should be taking, you should be taking vitamin D3, not vitamin D2, vitamin D3. Because that is the most absorbable form in your body. You should be taking five to 10,000 international IUs of vitamin D daily if you're a normal person. That will be good enough for you. You just have to test, continue testing to see what's the sweet spot for you. If you test and you're taking 5,000 for like three months, and when you retest again, you're still kind of low, you need more. Or you need the cofactors, which we'll get into shortly. It's a kind of playing game. You got to play <laughs> and like mix and match to see what works. It's personalized, so I can only give you the guidelines. But five to 10,000 I use daily, that will work for the masses generally. Make sure the vitamin D3 that you buy contains either olive or coconut oil. No other oil. Do not buy any with any sunflower oil, any palm oil. No other oil than olive and coconut oil. Do you hear me? Those other oils causes inflammation in the body. Please stay away. So a lot of persons that I found on the internet, they don't know what's vitamin K2. It's different than vitamin K. Vitamin K2 has a host of different functions than vitamin K. Vitamin K2 helps the calcium to be absorbed. I mean, it pulls the calcium from the bloodstream into the bones and it removes it from soft tissues. And wherever calcium is not supposed to be, it pulls it from there and put it inside the bone. Also, if you're worried about being, quote unquote, First of all, if you want to talk about vitamin D toxicity, you have to be taking hundreds of thousands of IUs daily for a couple months before you're vitamin D toxic. So don't worry about 5 to 10 IUs daily. If you're scared, stick to 5,000 then. That's fine. But don't worry about it. You'll be okay. I personally take 10,000 daily. I'm good, I'm thriving. I also take it with K2. So the recommended dose for the vitamin K2 is 120 micrograms, not milligrams, micrograms per day. So that's your base mark, that's your bench line. I'll discuss further in how to take that K2 if you're gonna up the doses, the dosage, sorry. When I get sick, I take 50,000 IUs for three days. So if I get sick or I'm feeling I'm getting really sick and I know it's going to come on heavy, like how, as how sick I'm going to get, I'll take vitamin D3 for almost the duration of the flu, but like 50,000 IUs. Oh, yeah. Because what vitamin D does, it helps your body to regulate itself in the process of trying to get rid of the virus or the bacteria that you got sick from. Sometimes the body can overreact and create too many inflammation in the process of healing your body. So vitamin D try to calm all of that down and creating less and minimal damage inside your body. I also take one teaspoon of cod liver oil daily. It has the most bioactive uh, source of vitamin A, unless you eat a lot of liver, which also has vitamin A. The reason being, large doses of vitamin D can also mess around with your vitamin A. So if you go high on the vitamin D, vitamin A can drop inside the body. There must be a balance. So you must also keep that in mind. If I were you, I just try to take or at least try to get all the nutrients that I can so everything can be at a balance inside the body. That is very important. Let's start magnesium. Magnesium is another supplement that you will need. You will need 400 milligrams for men and 350 milligrams for women. Magnesium is very important in the process of getting better from a vitamin D deficiency. Those are the two things everyone is worldwide deficient in. Magnesium, vitamin D, and that's why we have this problem. 
Some persons even claim that you're not vitamin D deficient, you're magnesium deficient, which caused you to be vitamin D deficient. Let me explain. The receptors inside the body for vitamin D are completely magnesium dependent, which means vitamin D will not work inside the body unless you have magnesium and vice versa. Vitamin Magnesium will not work unless you have vitamin D. They work hand in hand. So that is something you have to be mindful of. And you were wondering about this drink, right? Yeah. This company, this company, right? Adapted Nutrition, they make some of the bomb. The bomb. You hear what I'm saying? They make some of the bomb S drink electrolytes on the market. I'm telling you, brother. Listen. Get you some. I have a link down in the description. These supplements have the magnesium that you need to get better. I have a link down in the description to get you 15% off on your first order. I got like stacks of these things. <laughs> I ain't going to run out no time soon. They have three delicious flavors. They have watermelon, orange, and, and raspberry lemonade. You feel me? They also have an unflavored one. Trust me, these flavors are off the chain. The watermelon flavor that I'm drinking right now, this thing is the bomb. Man, you gotta get you some, trust me. I got you, I ain't go listen. Ain't no BS over here. Let me set that straight. First of all, there ain't no BS on this channel. You feel me? So everything that I'm telling you, I stand by it wholeheartedly. I've been taking these guys for years. Well, actually, when I got vitamin D deficient, which was like in 2020. So, yeah, it's four years later. You feel me? So, you guys got to get, get you some, boy. How long does it take to feel better after starting to supplement? It takes about three to four months to actually feel better. For me, remember I said I couldn't sleep. The first night I took vitamin D, I slept a little bit more the second night I slept just a little bit more than the first night the third night of taking vitamin D I slept a little bit more than those two nights combined and by the end of the week I was sleeping maybe not the best but I was sleeping because I went that's how I really knew vitamin D was the issue because I went from not sleeping to sleeping and other things started to improve as well. So three to four months to start feeling better and it goes up to like a year for some persons because not everyone is the same and it also depends on how long you were deficient for. I, when I got really deficient and start having symptoms, first of all, you're deficient long before you get symptoms. You only get symptoms because your body really cannot function anymore. Like you've reached the peak of what your body can do now without the vitamin. It's actually a hormone. It's not necessarily a vitamin. It controls a lot of processes in the body. So that is the reason you get uh, symptoms is because the body has now reached the point where it just can't function anymore without it. So, yeah. But you're deficient long before symptoms begin. I feel in my case, I think I was magnesium deficient first, which led to vitamin D being deficient. Because what I did early that year when I got deficient, I went on a keto diet. And if you know about the keto diet, I didn't supplement with any electrolytes. So if you're on the keto diet, you need electrolytes like back here. I wasn't supplementing with any electrolytes. So what happened is that after I came off the keto diet because I felt horrible, because I wasn't taking any electrolytes, I didn't realize that I depleted the little bit of magnesium that I had inside my body. Yes, being on the keto diet, you pee out the magnesium inside your body. If you're not putting it back in, you're peeing it out. Also some potassium as well. I was literally... And then later down that year, I got vitamin D deficient. I'm like... And then later on the following year, I connected the dots together. Okay, so this is something that I didn't find anywhere on the internet. So you got to listen carefully. Well, I found one person talk about it, just one. And I share the same sentiments with that person. So here's what happened. After I started supplementing vitamin D, right, my bones, especially in my knuckles, right, they started hurting, which they didn't hurt before. Like my back hurt, other places hurt, but not my knuckles, like not my fingers. 
after I started supplementing vitamin D, they began hurting. I was like, what? Like I'm taking vitamin D to get better and I feel like I'm getting worse in certain areas. It seems like what's happening, I don't know if your body is repairing itself, but because I, I can't find anything on the internet as to why you take vitamin D and start it feeling worse. But you have to continue. It might be painful, but you would have to continue taking that vitamin D because it got better. Like it did it. I don't have pains now. <laughs> it got better. So I don't know why it happens, but just be mindful if you have started taking vitamin D and experiencing new pains, please continue. It will pass. Trust me. And I sure many persons have this um, question, but I can't find no answer to it on the internet. So listen, if this is helping you, drop me a like below, man. I got you because we got more videos like this coming. Right, so persons are asking, are there any vegan options? Yes, there are vegan options. There are not many. So if you didn't know, vitamin D is made from sheep's wool, right? Majority of it is. And vegans are concerned. So I'm going to put a product right here. Um, this product is from Naturello. They is a natural company that creates really good products. They have a natural vitamin D. It's made from plant leaching. Plant leaching is like, like seaweed or algae like type of stuff. 